What's up, it's Lalo. In this video, I want to show you how you can use uh, Face Mojo for Genesis 9. So, I just have a Genesis 9 character loaded into the scene here, and you'll see I've navigated in the, uh, the content library to the people, Genesis 9, and then Face Mojo, and this is where we'll find all the scripts to, uh, to add the animation and remove it and whatnot. And so now if we want to apply some animation to him, we just want to make sure he's selected. And then if we have a JSON file, we use this script. And so I'll show you how to do that real quick. We'll just double click it. And then uh, you'll just browse to one of your JSON files. And so I'm just going to use this one for this demonstration. We'll hit open. You'll get some smoothing options. Um, usually I feel like these default settings work well. But uh, if you feel like you need to smooth it out for any reason, um, you have some options here, but I'm just going to use the default settings. And then if you actually hover, or actually if you click this little question mark and then click on it, it tells you pretty much exactly how it works. Um, so if you want to, you know, figure out how these work, you can just go ahead and do that if you want more information about them. Now I'm going to go hit accept. So now it'll take a second to, uh, to bake the animation to the character goes a little bit slow at first, but then uh, it'll speed up right about now. Yep, there it goes. All right, and so now if we hit with the uh, timeline here, if we hit play, we'll see that we have our animation. Uh, and then another thing too is right now I had, when I applied the animation, I had the uh, playhead at the beginning of, uh, or at frame zero. But if you want to apply the animation at a different point in the uh, scene, all you have to do is set the playhead. Like say, if I wanted to start the animation here, then I could set the playhead here and then bake it and the animation would start from uh, from here. All right, and so now that we have some animation on the character, if you want to adjust some of the morphs, like if you feel like some of uh, the expressions or anything like that look too strong or look too weak, um, we can navigate to the parameters tab. And then uh, with the character expanded, we go to the pose controls, head, and then fit the, to the face mojo section. And here we have a section for either the head rotation tuning or the strength modifiers. And so let's say we want to turn up the, um, you know, the strength of the uh, motion capture of the head rotation. We can use the, the slider here. I'm just going to go ahead and reset that. And then if we want to distribute the head rotation to different joints, um, you can do that. Like sometimes, depending on the angles, like uh, depending on which joint is being rotated like it can look a little bit like the neck can kind of look a little bit long um, i found these default settings work pretty well um, but if you don't like the way the neck is looking then you can adjust these settings here a little bit so that you know maybe you want need more rotation distributed to neck one so you could turn that up a little bit and then turn this down if you want um, but for more the most re accurate results you're going to want to make sure these all add up to 100 still so uh Right now, let's see here, I put this at 70, and then maybe put this at like 20, and so now they still add up to 100, So because I got 70, 20, so that's 90. Um, oops, that's 105 actually, so we need to put this at 60. Now they do 60, 80, 95, and then 100. So there we go. Um, so that's kind of how those work, and then if you want, sometimes like, if you don't have uh, body animation, um, it can add like a nice subtlety to um, change some of this rotation to the spine. Um, it just can kind of help it look a little bit better if you know if you're doing uh, motion capture from a little bit zoomed out a little bit. Um, it can it can add a little bit to have it uh, some of the rotation down lower on the spine. So that's kind of the idea behind those. And then also here are the uh, the strength modifiers for all the. Um, um, for all the different uh, FACS pose controls or morphs. Using them is pretty straightforward. So we have one that'll increase the strength of everything. And so if we turn that up here, well, it'll start to break this, uh, this particular pose, but I can go ahead and reset that. But let's say we want it to look a little bit more um, dramatic. You know, we can kind of increase certain ones of these to add a, a nice effect. And so um, that's kind of the idea behind those and how they work. Um, but I'm just gonna reset that now. Uh, and now, if we come back here, let's say we, we're happy with this animation and we want to save it to be used with another character or just to have it handy uh, for whatever reason, we can save the entire animation using the script here. And all you have to do is basically double click it and then uh, decide where you, you know, point it to where you want to save it. And that's it. And then, or let's say we just want to save this one facial pose here 
at like at this, the single frame. So we can just use this script here and it'll just save it as like a, a pose instead of as a, a animation. Um, all right, now let me show you how to, to bake uh, animation from FBX. So I'm just gonna remove the animation using this script here. So this is gonna remove all the animation on the uh, the uh, for the the head and neck, and then also on the uh, the pose controls that facial uh, face mojo uses. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run that, and see now we'll see that we have the animation removed. And now for FBX, what you have to do first is import in the FBX file. So I'm just gonna go to file import, and then I have a an example here already saved so I'm just going to import that one in and then you'll get some options like this when you import in FBX files into uh, into DAS Studio and so you want to make sure that this include animations is checked and then um, that you have the proper take um, selected here usually there's e the only options either none or take one so you usually just want to select the uh, whatever's not none <laughs> if that makes sense um, and then we don't need to worry about any of this other stuff, so I just leave everything else unchecked, and that should be good. So we'll hit accept. And now you'll see that we have this new node here that was imported in with the FBX file, and it can kind of depend on which uh, which iOS app that you're using, like the name of it, but that doesn't matter. All you need to do is once it's imported, just select it and then control and select the character that you want to tar retarget the animation to, and then you just run the script. And we'll get the same smoothing options here. So I'll go ahead and hit accept. And now this will uh, bake the animation from the FBX file to our character. All right, and now that that's done, we can go ahead and delete this if we want. You don't need to keep it around for any reason. Um, and now you'll see that we have the, uh, the facial animation from the FBX file. And so I think that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me an email or leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching.